So let's switch gear into a transformer. And I would like to go through the winding resistance test because remember I said doing a resistance on a non-inductive specimen, easy. But doing one on a transformer, big problem. It's not a problem, but you need to know what you're doing. First, I'll talk about principles, some errors, safety, and then time required to do the test. Uh, first issue is you do a four-wire Kelvin, which means you apply current and you measure voltage drop. Easy, easy. How do you connect? You put current up here, so it's a thick wire, and you put voltage inside, it's a thin wire. Always current cables outside, voltage cables inside. And now what you do is you know the current, you measure the voltage, you calculate the resistance, right? Wrong. As long as we deal with a transformer that has inductance, we have a component that introduces an error in our measurement. And we need to deal with this. This is DI dt or change of current in time. The only way we can eliminate this is when the current does not change in time, which means when the current is completely stable. So what we have packaged in this instrument is maximum voltage possible and very high current, 60 volts and 60 amps. 